Okay, so, uh, so I made an hour and a half long buyer's guide that's like in-depth and goes into uh, all these details. Someone requested a shorter version, so here's an abridged version of the uh, Attack Wing buyer's guide. And it works something like this. First, you need a starter set. Um, that can either be the Federation versus Klingon starter set, or the original starter set with the Enterprise, Forcha, and uh, the Daredex. Or, you can purchase the Alliance game, which apparently is supposed to act as a starter set. You can also try to make your own starter set by buying the uh, maneuver tiles and dice and damage deck uh, on like a secondary market. Next up are three faction packs I would request that you get, regardless, like if you're a new player, because they'll give you some decent ships. Right off the bat, doesn't really matter what faction you play. You could pick up one of these, or you could pick up all three. It would be the Animated Series Pack, the Motley Fleet Pack, and the Borg Faction Pack. If you purchase the Borg Faction Pack, I would suggest you also purchase the Borg Sphere 4270 expansion. Um, as it will have upgrades that pair well with the Borg Faction Pack. You could also pick up the Delta Flyer, which is a very solid expansion just for its defensive upgrades. If you buy the Motley Fleet, you'll also probably want to pick up the Cardassian ATR-4107 card pack, mainly because it comes with the captured card. And then you could also just buy the uh, Cardassian Dreadnought expansion pack as well, just because that it will actually let you use the rest of the cards from the card pack itself. Moving on, if you are a fan of Deep Space Nine, you will probably want to buy uh, some of these ships. That is the ISS Defiant, uh, Quark's Treasure, Regent's Flagships, uh, IKS Genova, that's more optional, and uh, the Robinson. Uh, you could also pick up a Dominion ship of your choosing, just something to fight. I would recommend the Dominion Battleship. If you're a fan of Voyager uh, and you have purchased the Borg pack already, then I would suggest buying the Valjean, the USS Equinox, the Ugla Razik, the Delta Flyer, if you haven't already bought it from the other one, Kenya Prime, and the USS Prometheus. If you were not able to get a hold of the Borg pack, I would suggest looking for the USS Bellerophon prize ship, as it is an intrepid ship, and you could use it as a stand-in for Voyager. Next up, if you are a fan of the next generation, you could purchase the USS Pasteur, aka Estranova, uh, USS Hathaway, and USS Pegasus. If you happen to find the USS Enterprise-E being offered for a good price, you can also try and scoop one of those up. But those are hard to find and a bit expensive. Uh, if you are looking to play the independent faction, really you can buy almost any ship you want that's independent, but uh, two expansions you're going to want to nail, as well as that Motley Fleet, is the Ferengi faction pack, and I would suggest the Kenya Prime, because it comes with a great weapon being uh, Chronothon Torpedoes, However, if you're not into Chronothon Torpedoes, you could just uh, choose to buy another expansion of your choice. But it's a nice, good, strong ship. It's just uh, a very isolated pack. Moving forward, if you are a fan of the original series, ships you might want to purchase are the... Uh, keeping in mind, you've already purchased the animated series pack, hopefully, from earlier. You'll want to probably pick up the Mirror Universe Calvin Timeline Faction Pack. It comes with two... Uh, Calvin Timeline Enterprises and two Klingon ships, but they're, they're about as strong as Katinga's, but they look really cool and they're pretty good. Comes with some really nice Klingon cards. Uh, then you'll also want to get the Tiny Prize, as it comes with some original series era cards that are really good. The model itself kind of sucks, so you might want to pick up a Deep Cuts model um, of the Enterprise Refit and use that instead, or you could just substitute it for one of those Enterprise models from the uh, faction pack there. You'll also want to pick up the USS Reliant as it comes with Khan, a very nice uh, tier 2 ship, as well as uh, Chekhov, a really good Chekhov. And uh, one that's more optional is the Enterprise Refit from the movie era. That comes with um, some pretty nice cards, a really good Captain Spock, but all in all it has a better model than the Tiny Prize. And if you're uh, considering you, if you did buy the Calvin pack and the animated pack, you will now have four Klingon vessels, and one Romulan ship. If you want another Romulan ship, you could pick up the Galgathong. That's a good uh, original series ship. Moving on to Romulans as a faction. If you're interested in just playing the Romulans as a faction, 
Um, I would suggest buying the RRW Praetis and the IRW Galgathon and the, uh, uh, what is it called? Romulan Drone Ship. Those are three that you could buy. You could skip the Galgathon if you like, but uh, the Praetis is missing one of its uh, minefield tokens. So you'll probably want to get the Galgathon so you can get that extra minefield token because it comes with two. Then something you'll want to get is the Romulan Faction Pack. However, those are hard to find. So other options include buying the R or RRS Apinex, mainly because it's a, you'll have your small Romulan ship as well as a copy of Interface Generator. Then the IRW Hakona, which is a Dideradex, which you'll want one of those just because those are sort of the standard Romulan ships. And it comes with some pretty good weaponry. Then there is the IRW Vrax or the IRW Valdor. Those are both um, uh, Valdor class ships, and I would say every Romulan player should have at least one. So those four ships that I just listed, you could buy if you can't find the uh, Romulan Faction Pack. If you buy the Romulan Faction Pack, you'll have pretty much a good starter Romulan set. You could just purchase the Praetis and a Romulan Faction Pack and be good to go as well, but these are some other worthy ships to pick up. Moving onward again, we have then the Klingon faction. So uh, most, I don't really play Klingons too much. Most of this is just to get named cards. I would suggest getting the IKS Dronova. I've mentioned that a few times now. The Dronova mainly uh, you'd want to pick up because it's, uh, well, it's a good ship. It's a Vorcha. It comes with Galron, which is a good card. And it comes with Cloaked Mines. It's one of the only sets that come with Cloaked Mines. And it comes with... Um, the only way to get rid of cloak mines, detonation codes. Then you got the IKS Ning Tao. It has many good captains. It's got two copies of Core. It's got Martok and a Wharf. Then you've got Chang's Bird of Prey. He comes with some. It's a pretty good Bird of Prey class. Uh, it's fairly cheap to fly. It has some cool upgrades that you would that are kind of hard to find. Then you've got the Regent's flagship, which is your standard for the Negvar. And then the IKS Garoth because it has a very strong. Um, card in there called uh, stasis field, protected stasis field. Uh, moving onward again um, to the Dominion faction. Frankly, I don't have that much advice for this because I only recently started collecting Dominion. So I would say get the battleship, get the Reklar because that has some really good cards in there. It has like Galdicott. Then you want to get the Dreadnought and the Cardassian card pack. Just mainly for that captured card, but it has some other cool weaponry in there. Um, and then you could grab the Robinson. And if you don't want the Robinson, then you could pretty much grab any other Dominion uh, Tick or Dominion you know, Jem'Hadar ship. I don't have a favorite besides the Robinson. Moving on to Enterprise Error, if you're a fan of the Enterprise Error. I would suggest getting the, well, if you can find one for, you know, $15, $20, pick up the NX-01. But it's kind of hard to find. So, but it isn't typically too expensive, I think, when you find it. But if you can't find it, then get the ISS Avenger. That's a really good stand-in. Then you'll want the Dakir. Um, it is a Vulcan ship. You could get some of the other Vulcan ships if you want, but I think the Dakir is probably my favorite. I haven't purchased it yet. I, it's, it's in the mail. Then you'll probably want to get the Kumari. It is a Andorian battlecruiser, and it pairs very well with the Andorian battlecruiser from the Motley Fleet faction pack. After that, we have the IRW Praetis, which again has the cloaked mines. You might want to pick up more than one of those. A little warning about the IRW Praetis. It's a very lackluster expansion. The ship is frankly terrible, but it comes with cloaked mines, which is one of the best cards in the game. After that, there is the Romulan drone ship, which I still haven't gotten mine. I ordered it. It's in the mail. But, um, so it's, like, not something you need, but it's a, it's just a good ship. So if you're only collecting ships from that era, that's one you might want to pick up. There's also the Zindi faction you can dip into, but I don't know enough about that to be able to recommend anything. Uh, after that, we have Borg. Now, if you bought the Borg faction pack, you're pretty much good to go. But you might want to pe pick up uh, Queen Vessel Prime because I can tell you right now it's going to be hard to find or at least hard to find a reasonably priced Borg Tactical Cube or Borg Oversized Cube. So the Queen Vessel Prime can be your stand-in for the Borg Tank. It's a very strong ship. It's only a little weaker than the Tactical Cube. And then there's the Borg Song, which is... or Soon, I think it's 
is it's the reason I recommend this one is it's not a popular ship so most of the time when you find it online it's actually very cheap to buy and that is the recommendations for which ships to buy if you want to know why I suggested each ship you can check out the longer version of the video and just you know fast forward to the section where the ship appears have a good day